Uh, and then there's asset allocation. Uh, how much do you want in the stocks and how much do you want in bonds? To me, that is by and large a buy and hold proposition. Don't do something, just stand there, no matter, almost no matter what happens, and maybe no matter what happens. Uh, for example, even this 50% decline, you know, you ended up with more money uh, seven years later, from 2007 to 2014, if you just stayed in and just taken your lumps and it came back if you were in, in, in the bull market index fund. So um, asset allocation is a little different, but there's one thing that is the same. Please don't let anybody forget this. If you're smart enough to reduce your allocation to stocks and increase your allocation to bonds, somebody else is reducing their allocation to bonds and increasing their allocation to stocks. And other the, the logic is identical.